I'm Rick Veers, sound designer and author of the Sound Effects Bible, and this is Rode University. Today we're going to discuss Foley. Traditionally, Foley is the process of recording sound effects in sync with the film. Today, Foley is performed in television shows, video games, and even internet videos. Foley is named after sound pioneer Jack Foley, and its use dates back to the 1930s, soon after sound was introduced to film. The most common use of Foley is footsteps. However, there are far more intricate sounds that a picture needs to bring it to life. The performer, known as a Foley artist, can add depth and reality to a scene by performing cloth movements, grabs, and prop handling. Large diaphragm condenser microphones and shotgun mics are the go-to mics on the Foley stage. Today we're going to show you how we recorded Foley for the award-winning short film The Point by Detroit director Chuck Grady. We're going to use the NT1A for our cloth movements, the NT2A for prop movements, and the NTG3 for footsteps. So let's head over to Studio D and get started. The Point is a short film based on a true story about a basketball player faced with the loss of his mother on the day of the big game. When tracking fully, it's a good idea to start with a cloth track because you'll cover the entire scene. This will give you a chance to become more familiar with the scene and spot other needed effects. For our first scene, we have the coach entering the locker room, so we'll use an NT1A to capture the movement of his tracksuit. Our next scene focuses on the player visiting his mom in the hospital. There's a touching moment when the player holds the hand of his mother. For this, we'll still use the NT1A. The Foley artist will perform using the palm of his hand on the back of the other hand. This will provide a rougher surface that will produce a more interesting sound. For prop handling, let's look at a scene when another player is getting ready to make a free throw shot. For this sound, we'll switch to the NT2A and the Foley artist will mimic the actor's performance. Later in the film, the player is shooting hoops outside. To capture his footsteps, we'll use the NTG3. A shotgun mic is the ideal choice for footsteps. The Foley artist will use what is known as the heel-toe method to perform each step. In shots where the feet are not visible, you can always watch the actor's shoulders to help locate each footfall. These are just small examples of what takes place during a Foley session on a film. Once mixed together with the location sound, background ambiences, ADR, and score, the Foley will create a seamless soundtrack in which the sound holes are filled and key moments are highlighted. Let's go back to the equipment room and wrap this up. Foley is a key ingredient to creating a realistic soundtrack. You should never underestimate the power of a good Foley track or the gravity that it lends to a scene. You don't have to limit your Foley creativity to the confines of your studio. Originally we had discussed performing some of the Foley for the point in the same gymnasium where the filming took place. However, scheduling and budget constraints prevented this. Today, laptops and portable recording rigs make this not only possible, but an innovative approach to giving your Foley a real-world feel. For more information on the art of Foley, you should read The Foley Grail by my friend Vanessa Ament. I'm Rick Veers, and I'll see you next time at Rode University. Until then, 
make some noise.